Hello fellow key comrades, I'm back on your screen with yet another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can get the follower. Sub. And gift sub. Notifications for your kick.com live stream. Let's get to it. Go to www.livebot.app. This is an, as I understand it, official bot from kick.com and it's always most up to date when it comes to majority of features. Simply scroll down and click on dashboard. Vortex seal from the future intervening quickly. Before you proceed any further with instructions, you must download the livebot.app kick follower synchronizer extension from the Google Web Store. Without this extension, it's most likely not going to work. I will send a link to it as well as to the website in the description of the video. From the main page, you will go to overlay and follow alert. I already have my alert set up as you can see, but what you will do is click on this plus button. Name it cool follower notification create as you can see after you create your follower alert it creates a nice little template that you can resize move around you can do anything you want to it you are the one in control by default you can choose a giphy gif by searching for it for example balls oh god damn those are some big cat balls by the way you can hear my cat screaming in the background probably. My cat, very horny. His name is Mihai. You can see him on the screen now. His balls are going to be cut off at 8 in the morning tomorrow. He already has an appointment at the vet. If you want to choose your own GIF instead of using other people's GIF, simply click on Media Type, Media Library, choose Media. To the Media Library, you can upload your own content. It gets saved. You have certain storage that you can use on the server and then you can reuse the same media multiple times without having to re-upload them every single time. Very cool if you ask me. I'm personally going to go with Pop because, I mean, look at him go. Very cool. You can resize and move him around like I was mentioning. You can of course change the text animations and you can of course add a sound because what good is an alert if you cannot hear it you're out there playing a game focused someone follows it shows on the screen but you don't notice because you don't hear it this is kind of like a discord thing you know except it's not as annoying because someone actually follows you so it's nice to hear i personally use my favorite bop 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 Bop, bop, I love it. Select. Once you have played around with your message, weight and colors and all of that, make sure to hit this save button. Don't export overlay. This is for sharing the code of your alert with other streamers so they can use it on their own. You have to save. This was a mistake I had made myself at the beginning. Hit save and then copy the stream element URL. Go back to your OBS, hit the plus symbol, add a browser source and name it. Cool follower alert message. Or once again, as I had said many times before, you can name it whatever the fuck you want to name it. It really doesn't matter hit ok and this is the important part as the url paste in the stream element id from the website i like to change the width and height to 1920 by 1080 and then hit ok there you go and you may be asking yourself vortex here how do i know it's working what am I supposed to do to check that it's okay? Well, my friend, don't worry. I've got the answer just for you. Simply open the website and click on the preview button. With the preview button, you can see the alert exactly how it's going to show on the stream. But the best thing about this is if you put the browser aside and you hit this trigger alert button, 
not only is it going to play on the website, but on the stream as well. There you go. That is how you can check to make sure it's working. One thing you can do, if it doesn't work for you, make sure that you have hit the save button. And if you had made some changes on this website, but it is not showing correctly in OBS, go to your browser source, right click, properties, and refresh cache of current page. This will basically just refresh the website and update it with the new information. So now that your follower alert is working, you can simply go back to the browser and add all of the other alerts. For the sub and sub gift alert, it's practically just repeating the same steps that we have just done. So just to recap, click on the plus symbol, give it a name, very very cool person alert hit create then go ahead move it around customize it to your liking give it a custom emote this is my personal favorite to fish oh my god make sure to hit the save button copy the stream element URL, go back to OBS, hit the plus symbol, click on browser, add very, very cool person alert, hit OK, paste in the URL, change to 1920 by 1080, hit OK, go back on the website, put website aside, click on preview and trigger alert. And there you go. Then simply repeat the same steps for the sub gift alert. Oh god, that is loud. So yeah, yes, so just repeat the same step for the sub gift, sub and follow. In case anything is unclear, you can repeat the video. Once again, if you have any issues, usually you go to properties and the refresh cache of current page, it fixes it. But with that in mind, my dear comrades, I hope this has been at least remotely helpful. On my channel, you can find a little bit of tomfoolery, a little bit of kick tutorials, and I will be posting many more tutorials in the future. If any new features become available, feel free to follow if you would like to. No pressure. And thank you for watching. I kiss you as always. Mm -hmm.